Perfect. Ozo Kulumai. Get him with Pila, and that will enjoy this video. Please like the video if you enjoy the content. Subscribe the channel if you subscribed, and press the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when I post videos on this channel. On last week's episode, we were introduced to a new king of Elangeni, Umakedama. Umakedama is a son of Nandi's older brother, meaning that he is a cousin to Ushaga. Well, Ulting is why I wanted to ask Umakedama to align with him, which means that the Elangeni kingdom would fall under Oyengweni kingdom. And after being asked by Ulting Iswa to be under Oyengweni kingdom, Umakedama decided to form an alliance with Uzwite instead. Well, on last week's episode, Umakedama went to Ekutungomo and they formed alliance with Uzwide to get ready to attack Uting Iswayo. And Utkija volunteered to lead the Amabuto as Ekutungomo combined with Amabuto as Elangi against Amabuto Kating Iswayo. So on, on this week's episode, Kun Empika Ting Iswayo that is led by Ushaga and Ungomane versus Empika Zwite that is led by Utkija and Umakedama. While Usha is busy focusing on training himself and training Amabuto, Usomvel introduces him to a very beautiful girl who goes by the name of Uvunlazi. Shaga's heart is now caught by Uvunlazi. He is even prepared to give Uvunlazi a very expensive Utu that was given to him as a gift by Inkosu Dingiswai. Yeah, ne? So this was every South African man's favorite scene, me included. And I know this because I've seen comments on Twitter, Facebook and on TikTok. So guys, could it be true that Ushaga had no interest in being with girls? And if that is true, could this be the reason why he lost interest in all the girls? I mean, because if this is the reason, then Ushaga was at But like, this cannot be the reason why he did not want to date or why, why he died without having a wife. Should he be in 2023 most of the same time? Because this year, he week. So here's what happened. While Ushaga was working with his brother Ungwati, he saw a girl who goes by the name of Uvunlaz, as I've mentioned before. While Ushaga was looking at Uvunlaz, Somveli came through. And then Somveli tried to pass Uvunlaz to Ushaga. And Ushaga was afraid to tell Uvunlaz how, how he feels about her. But Ushaga was crazily in love with this girl. He was even determined to give beads that were worth 24 cows, meaning that those were the most expensive beads in that time. And those beads were given to Ushaga by Uting Iswayo as a gift, as I have mentioned also before. So, just when Ushaga gained confidence to go and talk to Uvunlazi and give her those beads, he saw Uvunlazi and Usomveli having, I don't want to say they were, they were having sex, but they were kissing in Uvunlazi's room. So, Ushaga got angry and decided to take those beads, planning to give to Uvunlazi and gave them to Unandi. And I think him giving those beads to Unandi was a pledge to his mother and stating that he will never love any woman again except for his mother, Unandi. Now this was my favorite scene of the episode. For some reason, I was so emotional watching it. Ushaga goes to war. After finding out that he is outnumbered, Shaga had to find a quick strategy, which gave us a different perspective on how Ushaga ended up preferring short spears for war. Even though Wise Ngomane was skeptical of this, and at this point, I was so scared that something might happen to Ungoman, but luckily, nothing happened. On this episode, we also shown how much Dingiswayo believed in Shaga. After the war, people tried so hard to turn Utingiswayo against Ushaga. Utingiswayo keeps on support, but Utingiswayo keeps on supporting Ushaga, which is a beautiful thing to watch. One thing I don't understand: where does the name Skiti come from? Because on this episode. Utingiswa kept on calling Mushaga skit and I don't know where it came from. Can someone explain in the comment section below because I, I really need to understand this one. I do understand Unutu Mishes Gamenzi because they showed us Uti. That is the name that Utingiswa gave to Ushaga after fighting with Ilembe. And I understand why Ushaga is called Ilembe Kamanyama Ilembe. You know, all those things. But they just called him Uskiti without even explaining to us where does the name come from. So can someone please explain that to me in the comment section? A 
And then there's this scene. Oh, what a beautiful scene to watch. You know, instead of taking all the glory given to him by Utiniswai, Ushaya gives all the glory to his mom. I think this one was a beautiful way to end the woman's day, you know? Because honestly, according to the show, Ushaya wouldn't have been where he is today if it wasn't for Unandi. So I think this was the best way of commemorating Unandi and appreciating her for everything that she has done for Ushaya. And this was the last scene of the episode. So if you ask me, yes, I did enjoy the show. It was one of the best episodes for me. And this is the end of this video. Please like the video if you enjoyed the content, subscribe the channel if you are subscribed, and press the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when I post videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Let's engage again on the next video.